this is Glance. Now Glance is another self-hosted dashboard that we can get going, but I want to show you some key reasons why I will be using Glance itself. Now you might have already deployed a dashboard. You might be saying, look, I already have one. I don't want to go about setting up another one. That's fine because look at this. If you see at the top here, if I just zoom in a little bit for you, I have another page called home page. What happens if I click this? If I click that home page tab, it takes me to a new page, which is what? My actual home page itself. So I've got a home page embedded into Glance. So in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Glance, what it is, what sort of widgets you can add and all of that good stuff. And then I'm going to show you how you can get this all deployed using Docker and more specifically Docker Compose. And I have all the documentation and the docs for this in the link in the description to my document website that has everything you need as well. So this is the Glance GitHub page, right? And here we can get all the information we need. Again, a link to this plus my document website will be in the description. If we come down here, I just want to give you a bit of a quick overview on what you can expect. So as you can see on my dashboard, which I'll show you in a second, and that's a pre-configured dashboard, really easy to get set up. They give you everything you need. You can configure RSS feed, subreddit posts, weather, bookmarks, hacker news, all of that good stuff as you can see here. iframes, that's how I got homepage all set up itself. You got Twitch channels, so you can see if you've got your favorite Twitch streamers, if they're online or not from a quick glance. Uh, site monitors and all of that stuff. I'll, I'll show you more specifically how that stuff works in a second. You can see here, there's a bunch of themes that you can get. Let me just get in a bit bigger. And even works perfectly on mobile devices as well. It's all optimized. Now you can see here that they have the configuration docs, which we'll go to in a second, but they already have a pre-configured page as well, which is here. I provide this on my docs page as well. Uh, we'll come back to this in a second because this is kind of going a bit too far ahead. And then they have their configuration docs as well. And in here is pretty much how you configure everything and they give you everything that you need, right? And all of this configuration is done via a YAML file, right? And it's actually really straightforward. So if we come down here, we can see, right, there's a pre-configured page that they give us. And essentially, if you copy and paste this into the YAML file that you use for creating your Glance page, this will give you straight away what you've seen on the front page and pretty much what I'm using uh, right here. This is essentially their pre-configured page, which is a great place to start. So quickly to go over the, the pre-configured page, because this pretty much explains how everything works. So you can see that everything is made up of a page, a column, and then a widget. And I just want to show you what a page, a column, and a widget really is. So as you can see here, if I just zoom out a little bit, a page is like the full page, right? Which is this, this, everything on here is a page. And then in there you have columns, right? So you can see here that this part on the left-hand side where you see calendar, RSS feed, and Twitch channel, that's a column. And then the hacker news in the middle, that's another column. And then on the right hand side, we have columns. And you can see the green ones are the widgets in them, right? So each little block is a widget. So coming back to the page, this will make more sense because you can see here where they have a column. And in that column, they've set it small, which is on the left hand side. And in that, it has the calendar, which is here on the top left, we see the calendar. They have an RSS feed. And then again, we can now see the RSS feed. It's all under the same column. And then they have Twitch channels, right? And if we go have a look, I can see the Twitch channel. So that's how you configure what's on that column. And then there's another one because we can see size. So this is a new column. And this is saying full, right? This is a full sized column. And then in here, we have the Hacker News, which we do, Hacker News right there. And then videos, we can have videos there. And you can pretty much grab the YouTube, um, URL, well, the, the ID for that channel and paste it in here and that's what will pop up. And then the last one is we have Reddit, right? And then you can choose which subreddit you want, which is the self-hosted one. And then they have one more column, which is weather and markets. And again, that's on the right-hand side. So three columns, in those columns, you have widgets. I think that makes sense, right? So this is all you need. Everything can be configured here. So you can go and look through all of these widgets, uh, the pages, columns, and add and remove whatever you like, have as many pages as you like, and has, uh, add the columns and add your widgets. So let me show you how you can actually go about getting this deployed for yourself. So this is my uh, docs.tickdocs.nz page, and this will be in the description. This has the Docker Compose file for you to get started as well as the configuration file from their GitHub. I link to their GitHub as well at the top and also down the bottom here where you can grab the widgets. I'm always making sure to refer back to where I'm grabbing this information from. Uh, so if you want, you can just go to this page now and follow the steps. Otherwise, feel free to follow along. We will go and deploy this now. So I am now connected to my sandbox server and I've just made a folder called Docker and then inside that I have Glance. So this is where we're going to put our compose file as well as that glance.yaml file. So coming to the documentation page, 
all we need to do is grab this. We can copy the Docker compose file here. And we just need to name the file exactly what you see here, docker-compose.yaml. So what we need to do is just make that file, right? So now we can just do like nano, for example, .compose.yaml and hit enter. Now we can paste that compose in. So we can paste that in. And we actually don't need this version because this has actually been deprecated. So I can just remove that. If you don't remove it, it's fine. You'll just get a little prompt saying um, it's been deprecated. So let's just have a quick look at what's going on here. As you can see, there's comments on here as well, but we're using their glance image of course for the docker container the container is going to be called glance and this docker container is going to expect that there's a glance.yaml file in this current directory where the docker compose file is okay we're going to make that before we deploy the container now we're going to be using the host time zone as well as the local time so that's how uh, glance will get the correct time and time zones on where we are and it's going to expose the container on port 8280 now feel free to change this to a port that you have free uh, that's not going to conflict with anything else but 8280 is what I'm going to use. And the restart at the bottom here just means that if your server restarts or whatever, uh, that this container will automatically start up unless you specifically tell it to stop. So that's all we need for this. So we can save this and close out. Now, if we do an LS, we've got that one file, right? But what we need to do now is create that glance.yaml. So we can do nano glance.yaml and hit enter. And now we can go grab that, you know, example file that we have on the website. So if we scroll down, we can copy this here. So just click copy, come back over here and paste. So this is pretty much exactly the same one from their GitHub. And now you can make any sort of tweaks that you like if you want, or you can run it exactly how it is right now. So let me show you that. So if I save this and hit enter and close down to this, we've got our file, right? So we can do an ls and we have the docker compose.yaml file as well as the glance.yaml. If I clear this and just run a docker compose up, hyphen D and hit enter. This is going to pull that image down. And so I've already pulled it down, hence why the container deploys straight away. And now we should be able to access that container on our host's IP address and on that port 8280. So if I come back over here, you can see we're on that uh, port 8280. If I refresh this page, just like that, there you can go. Uh, my server's all back up and running and it's exactly how it was before. But let's, we can make some changes, right? Now, if we look at the monitor widget, this is actually quite cool. This is a way for us to check if our services are up and whatnot. So I'm actually going to grab this and let's just grab the first one here and let's see if my Jellyfin is all up and running. So if I copy this, so let's just say we're going to monitor Jellyfin for whatever reason. Now, we can change this icon to any sort of icon. Let me just grab one from the web. All right, so we got that. Now I'm going to cheat here a little bit because I don't have my Jellyfin up and running at the moment, but let's just put, I don't know, like Grafana. <laughs> .tiktok.nz, but we'll use the Jellyfin thing just so the URL comes back that it's up. So if I hit that and save that and close it, now if we just do a docker compose restart, which will restart everything in the compose file, which is just the one container, that means that the container will now read the new glance file. So if we go back to our glance and refresh it, there we go. So on the left now, we can see my Jellyfin service. We've got it on the left and you can add as many more as you want and you can keep adding these, right? Uh, or you can have a full page in the middle or you can have another page, at, you know, and there's a lot that you could do. And again, if you're familiar with home pages that you know, you can just configure them, do what you like. But I think this is nice because you can add that iframe and add in your existing home page if you want, or this could just become your new one. But that is the video, that is Glance, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was actually really cool. The, these new home pages are quite nice. They're getting really nice now. Like some of them are still quite old, right? But man, you can you can make them pretty nice now. Uh, let me know if you decide to use Glance. If you've got any questions, join the Discord. Link will be in the description. Ask in the YouTube comments. More than happy to help as I normally do. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you use it. Let me know your thoughts, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one, everyone, and see ya.